So Joni Ernst is trying to secretly cut Social Security, and a bunch of Republican legislators around the country are posting letters to the editor in their local newspapers that were actually written by lobbyists for the health insurance industry. It's mind-boggling. Alex Lawson comes on and breaks it all down for us. Check it out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. It's our old buddy Alex Lawson, the executive director of Social Security Works, the owner, host, and producer at We Act Radio in Washington, D.C., our D.C. affiliate, and uh, socialsecurityworks.org. Uh, on Twitter, he's at ALaw202. Hey, Alex, welcome back. Hey, Tom, thanks for having me. You are doing uh, the coolest thing, and I wanted to give it some, some uh, exposure here and let people know about it. Uh, he, he, Social Security Works is, is uh, you know, just a great organization. And, and, and let me, in fact, let me preface this by saying, whenever I talk about Social Security, I really need to say this, that if you're listening and you're in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s or your 50s and you're thinking, I don't need Social Security, you already, Social Security act, actually represents a multi-million dollar insurance policy for you in your 20s. Because if, you know, as, as happened to my friend Michael Hutchison, he, he slipped uh, running in the winter in Santa Fe and broke his neck and ended up paralyzed from the neck down for the rest of his life. He spent 20 years, you know, in a bed unable to move uh, until he finally died. And, and, and all that time, Social Security paid all his bills. And, uh, you know, that's, we, we all have this massive disability policy that most of us could never afford, and it's called Social Security. So, first of all, Social Security is like really important stuff. Secondly, Joni Ernst appears to be up to no good. Tell us about that. So, uh, Joni Ernst, who is the senator in Iowa, um, she recently said that sh she was trying to sort of hobnob and, and, and get some uh, money from the very important people. And what the very important people want is to cut our Social Security. They want to reach their hands into our pockets uh, and steal our money because these, quote unquote, very important people are really just Wall Street folks. Um, so and and if I may, Alex, really earn if I may, mm -hmm. this is not so much ideological. I mean, there are, you've got the old Reagan mentality of, you know, if you give people money, they're going to be lazy. Um, but it, th these folks are not these old ideologues, you know, the anti-Social Security ideologues mm -hmm. from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, these are actual bankers who are looking at $2.5 trillion sitting in the Social Security Trust Fund and thinking, holy cow, if I could put that money in my bank and I could just skim a half a percent off the top, I'd be richer than anybody in the world. That's what's going That's on exactly here, is right. it not? Exactly right. This is, this is uh, to quote the Godfather, just business to these yeah. folks. Um, they see our money. They want our money. Right. Um, Joni Ernst is smart enough to know that uh, the American people do not want Wall Street to pick our pockets. Uh, so what she said, and it's, uh, was that she needed to deal with Social Security behind closed doors. Um, and that's just a nice little coded message for these bankers and these Wall Street folks uh, that she is on the team of cutting our Social Security benefits. But the only way that you can get that done in Washington, D.C. is out of the public's eye, uh, behind closed doors. And literally, Social Security works. We cut our teeth fighting these uh, attempts uh, with the Bull Simpson Commission, where I literally live streamed a closed door uh, for hours a day, where behind it they were discussing cutting our Social Security benefits uh, until I got Alan Simpson on video saying that is exactly what they were doing behind those closed doors. People don't take discussions of Social Security behind closed doors to talk about giving us more Social Security. Uh, it's only to cut it. So we feel at Social Security Work, this is absolutely our duty, is to make sure that people know that's what Joni Ernst said. She talked about behind closed doors. We took that, we put it on a billboard truck, and we are following her around Iowa, um, letting everybody know that Joni Ernst wants to steal our Social Security money and give it to her greedy friends on Wall Street. And they're not just her friends, they're her donors. I mean, let's, let's be clear, donors. the Supreme Court legalized bribery of politicians in the 70s, and that's, and, you know, this is what we've got. 
I doubt they're her friends, actually. It is a, a pure business relationship. Um, and that, that's, what, that's what she's talking about. You give me money to get me elected, and I'm going to actually steal people's money to give through you through policy. Um, that is the legalized bribery system that we have set up here. Um, it works as long as the American people don't know that's what's going on. So that's why we uh, put the, this billboard truck up and are following her around. Um, we want to do more. We want to actually have folks in her, in her town halls uh, to hit her with questions on this, to bird dog her. Uh, and we're finding great support in building that campaign uh, because, as you know, Tom, uh, Social Security is loved by everyone. It really is not a partisan issue. Now, meanwhile, w f f taking this to the next step with regard to health care, um, and, and I know you guys work on these issues as well, we have a couple of state representatives in Montana. Uh, this is Representative Kathy Keller and, and, and Senator Jen Gross. One's a state representative, the other's a state senator. Um, both Democrats who have come mm -hmm. out and said that the anti-Medicare for all op-eds that they published in local newspapers in Montana were not actually written by them. Uh, they were written by uh, an industry lobbyist, John McDonald, uh, who works with a, an industry-funded group called the Partnership for America's Healthcare Future. Tell me about this. Um, so this was a, a, an amazing story. Um, so. Uh, Medicare for All Now, which is an organization uh, that I'm on the board of and I work uh, closely with, run by uh, Wendell Potter, who is a former insurance industry executive turned whistleblower. Um, and he knows the exact tactics that the insurance company uses to kill the push to Medicare for All. So uh, they, Medicare for All Now did a FOIA request looking for uh, these exact things nailed these uh, elected officials just literally giving their byline to lobbyists for, for uh, it's not for the insurance industry or for, you know, the pharma. That's who's funding it. This is just an operation to lie and kill Medicare for all. And I want to be clear on this because there's been some uh, chatter on Twitter like, you know, they didn't give their byline because they didn't know what the talking points were, right? I mean, that's not what's going on here. They could have just written in the talking points. They let these lobbyists write the op-eds for them because this is the exchange, right? You get my name on an op-ed, and in return, I want donations from you. This is that same legalized corruption, the exact same thing that we're talking about with Joni Ernst. Now it's just they're literally stealing our health. Um, they're keeping us locked in a system driven by greed, where private equity has literally turned individuals' health into a profit center. They profit off of injury and sickness. I refuse to say that this system is broken because it's not broken, our healthcare system. It's working exactly as it's set up to do. It's just not a healthcare system. It's a wealth extraction system. And they see Medicare for All, which is a healthcare system, as an existential threat uh, to their business, to them, to their entire industry, which is a parasitic industry. Uh, and they're right. It, we are an existential threat to them. When we win, that whole industry is gone. There will be no more middleman standing between the American people and their doctor. We will add vision, dental, uh, hearing, long-term care. If you get sick, you go to a doctor, you get the care that you need. Full stop. That's how easy Medicare for All is. Um, they know that they need to lie, cheat, steal, do whatever it takes to block it. Uh, and we caught them with their hand in the cookie jar pretty, pretty fantastically buying lawmakers' names because that's what was going on.